that Statue of Liberty in New York, USA is turning green. Also, uh, recently in 2018, a bridge in Italy collapsed and 40 people died. This is because of the corrosion. Hello students, I am Dr. Rupasna. To know more about this topic, you may refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing, the e-book link of which is given in the description box. Corrosion. Corrosion is defined as the chemical or electrochemical reaction between metal and the environment resulting in the loss of material and its properties. So when the material reacts with water or moisture present in the atmosphere, then it depletes. So physical or mechanical wearing away of metal is not the corrosion, it is called erosion. It is only a chemical reaction with certain gases or water that takes place which results in corrosion. Why corrosion takes place? It is because the metal with in the natural state is present as oxide and these are called ores. So ores are either oxides or sulfides or naturally occurring combined state is thermodynamically stable state. So if you have a metal which is not in a thermodynamically stable state gets the opportunity to react with oxygen or with water to form a stable substance then that process leads to corrosion. So the metal extracted has the high, high energy uh, high energy or thermodynamically unstable. So what happens is, what happens is the metal converts itself into the stable reacting species and the metal is hence uh, called the corroded metal and it depletes. So why this happens? This is because of the environment. Now, uh, when we say that an electrochemical chem reaction is taking place in corrosion, it is because of the presence of four components. We should have the anodic uh, half cell, we should have cathodic half cell. Along with this, we should have a conducting environment or electrolyte which helps in the movement of ions. Also. Uh, this conducive environment is very important for a spontaneous reaction to take place. Then it is an electrical connection that starts between these two ends and the uh, metal starts depleting. Let us take example of rusting of iron. Very uh, famous and very uh, known example is that when you have an iron metal, iron in presence of Iron in presence of oxygen, water and slightly acidic medium gets converted into the hydroxide and that hydroxide on further heating gets converted into iron oxide. So the complete reaction anodic part is when iron is getting in converted into ferrous salt four electrons liberated, it is the anodic part. Cathodic part is when oxygen gets combined with hydro with water and these four electrons are taken, it forms hydroxide ion. That hydroxide ion reacts with iron to first form ferrous hydroxide. That ferrous hydroxide get converted, aerial oxidation due, due to aerial oxidation forms FeOH whole thrice ferric hydroxide and also when water is removed, it forms ferric oxide, uh, ferrous oxide as well as ferric oxide, Fe3O4 as well as Fe2O3. So uh, the electrical connection between anode and cathode takes place and that water is facilitating it. The electrolyte, electrolytic environment uh, and water are important for the rusting of iron. Uh, what are the oxidation and rea reduction reactions here? See, every metal surface has the tendency to form its oxide or form its sulfide if you have sulfur uh, in the atmosphere. So, the in the oxidation reduction reaction, what happens is iron metal 
oxidizes similarly aluminium metal oxidizes and if the reaction uh, is if the environment is uh, anodic and the metal acts as cathodic so you can have copper taking up two electrons to form copper solids so deposition is taking place or uh, when you have gases that accept electrons so reduction also takes place of the gaseous species and this is formed so uh, in the oxidation corrosion cell potential see in the previous videos we have learned about the reduction potential and the reduction potential series here for the corrosion only specially for the corrosion of metal we have written the half cell potential as oxidation potential so it is also called corrosion half cell potentials and the half cell here uh, of these metals are written here as positive so these metals have less tendency to corrode because they have very high oxidation potential values whereas these metals have high tendency to corrode because they have low value of oxidation potential these are in negative so if i say that the reaction of iron iron metal with water is taking place then out of these two which will oxidize this will oxidize and uh, this, this has high value of oxidation potential so this will oxidize and the other one will reduce based on this we will have the, the relation that which metals will ox will corrode faster which metals will corrode later so so if you have a gold or silver then the corrosion takes place at a very slow rate in comparison to iron so if we have gold or platinum or silver uh, plating so corrosion will take place at a lesser rate in comparison to iron or cadmium or cobalt nickel like that harmful effects of corrosion the corrosion depletes the metallic nature of the metal like malleability ductility or conductivity are the characteristic properties of metal those are reduced when metal oxides are formed life span of the metal gets reduced if you are using it in some parts of the machinery and if that part gets corroded then your uh, machinery will fail uh, functioning also enormous wastage of metal uh, takes place if that uh, material gets corroded so what are the types of corrosion uh, it is the electrochemical process that is divided into four parts galvanic corro corrosion pitting corrosion intergranular and white line water line corrosion the galvanic corrosion is the one where uh, the one metal corrodes another metal like in the daniel cell you have zinc and copper so copper gets deposited and zinc metal gets depleted this is a part of galvanic corrosion you can have aluminium and copper also taken together this corrosion occurs when different metals are in contact and exposed to corrosive atmosphere that means you have the electrolyte filling up these two metals in between so when the pit becomes deeper its bottom becomes less open to oxygen which makes it more anodic and the higher concentration part is cathodic so above above part is cathodic where you have high oxygen amount and inside that pit when you have steel here it is the less oxygen concentration region uh, third type is water line corrosion in this the concentration of oxygen dissolved in water is greater than deeper down creating a concentration cell what does this mean that uh, you must have observed that in the water if if certain pipeline iron pipeline is dipped then the corrosion more corrosion takes place at the uh, initial or uh, at the uh, above level as compared to the bottom level this is because of the difference in the co oxygen concentration the oxygen concentration in the water present here is more 
as compared to the oxygen which is present here at the bottom so because of the difference in the concentration of oxygen a concentration cell is created which makes the electrochemical reaction feasible at the top so this particular type of corrosion is called water line corrosion corrosion of metal takes place just be below the water level uh, then we have theories of uh, corrosion according to these theories it is not mandatory to have water in picture there are certain gases which are which facilitates corrosion there are uh, certain acids which facilitates corrosion and we have just now seen the rusting of iron which takes place in presence of water uh, so acid theory here acid is the main part and uh, the rusting takes place faster in acidic solution than in comparison to neutral solution similarly in the dry or corrosion uh, or chemical co dry or chemical corrosion uh, we have again three parts the where oxidation is happening or corrosion is because of the gases means you have a complete uh, hydrogen atmosphere or nitrogen atmosphere or h2s atmosphere which is facilitating the corrosion so uh, these are the reactions for the oxidation corrosion here it is in the absence of moisture so uh, and corrosion due to other gases these are the important gases that are responsible for corrosion uh, sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide chlorine and so on uh, the third is liquid metal corrosion in this uh, the two metals which are taken one the reaction involves either dissolution of solid metal by a liquid metal or internal penetration of liquid metal so for example cadmium gets corroded in the nuclear reactor because of the presence of sodium metal which is in the liquid state so it is metal metal uh, corrosion and uh, in wet or electrochemical corrosion we have uh, studied that you have to have cathodic and anodic areas where electron transfer takes place that could be because of water or oxygen or any electrolyte facilitating the reaction uh, these are the mechanisms of electrochemical reaction metal ion depleting uh, at anodic part cathodic part it is hydrogen gas evolution if it is oxygen absorption then these are the reactions uh, so after the types of corrosion we should also know how to uh, remove corrosion or how to treat the corroded uh, material it is uh, you can have various methods the best way is surface coating uh, you must have heard about the electroplating of the metal uh, whatever is the corroded metal you uh, plate electroplate it with another metal and uh, also like you can uh, galvanizing the metal or by tining uh, the metal or by uh, applying paints or thinners on the metallic surfaces which just cut down the interaction of metal with respect to the water or oxygen the facilitating uh, components should be removed and there has to be a layer of uh, the protective protective layer above the metal that is done using coatings various coatings so uh, electroplating and these are very important steps in this part of the lecture we have covered the corrosion and its uh, types also we have covered the chemistry behind corrosion and how to remove it in the next uh, topic we will cover the metallurgy to know more about this topic you may refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link of which is given in the description box if you found this video interesting please like share and subscribe the s chand academy channel also don't forget to press the bell icon for getting future updates without the permission of the copyright holder